Howdy everyone and welcome to today's video. We're with the Emil 1, the T rate Swedish uh, heavy tank, oh, tank destroyer. The T rate Swedish uh, heavy uh, tank. My bad, I just woke up, so yeah. Um, yeah, this is Abbey, one of the most corridorish maps uh, possible. So at the beginning, we decided to go towards the middle and see if we can clip anybody. The CDC already, like, kind of beat me to it. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna go up there and maybe maybe get a couple of shots into something. We don't know. Because the tank is relatively fast, so it's worth a shot. So let's see, wait a little bit. Uh, if there's anybody. This was the game towards the three gun Margarinos. So you were relatively close to the three marks before this one. It's a top tier game, there's no arty, so you know, all the signs indicate a good possible game. Unfortunately, there's nobody in the middle, so I kind of went here for nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there though. The the middle position is pretty useless from this uh, from the spawn because uh, well, it's open to the other side. I don't know if you guys ever paid attention, but on the other side there's like there's spaces where the enemy team can can shoot inside the middle spot, so it's not very good. If you take the middle from the other side, though, then that'd be great because you'll have plenty of cover to shoot from. But from this side it's pretty pointless, like all you're gonna achieve from this side taking the middle is probably losing health, so it's not really worth it because most of the times they will have uh, tank destroyers or just random tanks camped in the base and they will spot you while you're cruising in the middle and they'll just shoot you, so mm, not really worth it. In any case, we're going on the one two line, most of the team went on the eight line on the corridor, I don't know why people like corridors so much, but every time um, I play a game I just notice people go exactly on the corridors. People always, well, this is a corridor too, I did say it's, yeah. This is like nothing related to this map. Every time I play a game, people always refuse to go on the, on the place where you can maneuver more, aka like more more open field, not necessarily more open field, like more, more. They refuse to go to the places where they can like flank or do more stuff and they always try to go to the open field I don't know why and that was very unexpected that only there what the shit I was not expecting that let's just ignore him for a little bit I'll take I'll take a shot from him be, just because we need to clip these guys real quick wanted to go for the Emil first gotta finish that Emiliano gotta go forward now so that the only can't shoot us anymore I will take some damage I guess but we need to finish these guys okay I got a D-track perfect okay what <laughs> what's that Oni doing up there, man? <laughs> well, wow, mountain goat. As I was saying, I don't know why people prefer just to go on the corridors. Like every time, like I was saying, if there's a map where there's uh, this this place to maneuver and there's a city part, people just go to the city part or to the corridor. I don't know why. That's what I that's what I noticed. People just like simple fighting, aka they like to see the target in front of them. They can't handle more than that one direction. Don't know why. I need to shoot this only right now. I think he only sees my turret or something because he's not really fighting back. I'm not gonna be able to clip him though. Unfortunately, gotta shoot him titties. Even I'm shooting gold ammo. Okay, now it's up to the CDC to kill him, but I don't know why he just went in front of him. What? He just went in front of him and stopped. Okay. Now all I gotta do is wait, and uh, uh, luckily for me, this Oni is not smart enough to actually push me while I'm reloading, so all I gotta do is just chill here, wait till I reload, and uh, yeah. Okay, the lower killed him, so we just gotta go towards the enemy base. That works too. Uh, yeah, we only have two tanks left on the 8th line. We had a lot of tanks there, and they mostly died. Simply because uh, if you go on the 8th line, all it takes is one guy to spot and a ton of tanks in the back sniping so 8 line is pretty shitty position to, to go to unless you're gonna like maybe uh, push all the way to F E 7 or something like that and even there if you do push there make sure you got the middle because otherwise you're gonna get shot on this side which is not really worth it that's why I just refuse to go in that position it's it's too open the one two line can be open too, but for example, if the enemy team has the the middle, you can just go on the one line and they can't shoot you. So you got more options on the one two line. Let's see. Is this the one that's behind us? Went rogue. I don't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna go on the the low and the 
super brushing for some reason decided to go chase him around and that was a really 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 lucky Laurel from the Aizu 671 because otherwise I'd be dead right now I had no idea he's there but he was and uh, yeah I gotta go towards him now I gotta reload and um, hopefully I can do a little bit more damage I said we need these three gun marks Seriously, does the low on super pressure actually want to chase the TC1? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, well, I should be able to kill those two tank destroyers easy if I just catch them in front of me, unless they're shooting high explosive or something, kill me. Because they don't have a turret, so. Yeah, you know the struggles, how easy it is to kill a turretless tank destroyer. They probably came to this side by now, I'm expecting them to be here, so we'll just advance slowly and see what we find. Hello, hello, anybody home? Oh, there's nobody at this ridge is good because I can get some cooldown cover. Hello, hello, anybody home? Oh, there's the I. What? What's the Izu doing? The Izu is a mountain goat. What's wrong with this enemy team and the mountain goating? A lot of mountain goating in the enemy team. I don't understand why. Oh, that Izu is so unlucky. Laurel again, 679. <laughs> well, unlucky much. Izu. I gotta reload and go for the defender. Maybe the T71, but I think he's gonna die in the meantime. Well, we got 3.4k damage, so it's not so bad. Should be enough for the three Marcarinos. I think the defender is drowning. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. But yeah, it's really, really unlucky from the eyes. So he low rolled twice, at least from what I can see. I don't know if he shot any more besides that, but feels bad for him. And I guess the defender is gonna die by the time I get there. So we're gonna have to deal with the... Oh, not before some enemies crash. Of course, <laughs> not before that. I guess we're gonna have to deal with this damage. Okay, so we got a three gun Macarinos. Not really a very exciting game, but it got the job done. And let's face it, it was Abby, not exactly a very good map for tanks that got a cooldown. We got 53k credits, 3090 XP. I think I had some boosters on. We ended the game with uh, 3,403 damage, 2 kills, 1,030 base XP. And we got 194 assist damage. Don't know if it's even worth mentioning. And in the end we lost 982 credits because we were running food on the tank. And I shot a clip of gold ammo at the Oni, so... Yeah, not really a big loss, but got the job done. Okay, fellas, that's about it for the video today. If you are interested in grinding gun marks and the meal, I reckon you need around uh, 3k damage plus assist damage. Maybe a little bit more, but mm, around 3k. Also, if you're wondering about the equipment I had in my tank, well, it was vertical stabs, optics, and I had uh, vents in it. Sometimes I change it with the hands gun ink drive because the gun hunting is terrible. Well, yeah, mainly it's vents, it's vents, it's vertical stabs, optics, and a hands gun ink drive or vents. That's up to you. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and uh, goodbye.